Hey everybody, I am the Mighty Plantain, and this week's beer review, we're going to do something from one of my favorite breweries, a little something from Clown Shoes called Rex, ah, I'm pronouncing it that way, it's got a double X on the end, not sure what that's all about, or how to pronounce it, so I'm just making it up as I go. This is an Imperial Red Ale, aged in bourbon barrels. Now, I've only really come across an Imperial Red uh, once before. It was Smutty Noses, Kindest Find, and uh, I'm sure they're more prevalent than that. It's just what I've hunted up at my local store has been just the two. Um, but aging in bourbon barrels, that's an extra point for me. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's going to taste great. Clown Shoes puts out some great beers. The Imperial Red, the one time I've tried that variety, has been pretty impressive, and aging it in bourbon barrels, like I said, just takes it to the next level for me. I love my barrel-aged beer. So um, before I get too far into this, hit me up down below with a like and a share, and if you subscribe, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. I want to get that, uh, those likes, those shares, those subscribes. Keep it going, folks. I need the attention. I crave it. It's like mother's milk to me. So as always, we're going to use the Sam Adams Perfect Pint Glass. We'll get the larger one this time for the larger bottle. And I know there's different glasses out there designed for different beer styles, but honestly, I think that this is just perfectly designed to enjoy any beer. That bulb enhances the flavor. It's got the thicker glass at the bottom that prevents your hand from warming it up too much. And that laser etching really brings out... Um, with the bubbles by providing a cavitation point. I think that also enhances a lot of the aroma and flavors in the beers. So you can pretty much put any style in this as far as I'm concerned, and it still comes out good. That's by no means a plug for that particular beer company because I'm sure as hell not getting any kickbacks. I get about two dozen views a week. So uh, not making any money off of this, trust me. I'm not even getting any free beer yet. Take that back. Boosh has brought beer. So I am getting free beer from time to time. All right, enough about me. God knows I'm an attention whore, but let's get to the real reason you're actually tuning in. Let's check out this beer. I always find Clown Shoes' little backstories on their labels very entertaining, so definitely check that out. This one's pretty interesting. They also mention specifically the two different brands of bourbon that they've um, used barrels from to age the beer in. Uh, Four Roses and Heaven Hill are the bourbons. So I like that color. It's an imperial red, and it's got some red color to it, but maybe it's just because it's getting thicker up here in the glass. I'm actually seeing a lot of brown, very dark brown. I'm not picking up too much red, except maybe down here where there's less beer to, um, to catch the light. And there is a bit of a red hint down here, so it's definitely got a reddish col color to it. Ooh, pardon me. Not getting much in the aroma, honestly. Kind of a weak aroma. Nothing really standing out. Um, maybe... Some hints of freshly cut grass, oddly enough. Uh, I'm not sure where that's coming from based on the ingredients list that's... Uh, on the, the label, but honestly, not much of an aroma there, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it doesn't really give me an indication of what to expect from the taste. It's got a good, smooth taste. Um, it's got a nice medium mouthfeel, which is pretty good. I appreciate that. I like a nice heavier beer, but um, well, unless I'm sitting around and going to drink a lot of it, I like a nice light mouthfeel on the beer. But this has got a nice medium mouthfeel. Um, getting some hop bitterness combining with that high alcohol by volume taste that you typically get from an Imperial. That a little bit of sourness blending in there too. Um, it's not off-putting, like I get from some Imperials, um, but again, it's a Clown Shoes beer, so I'd expect it to be well-blended, and, and for them to use some of the other flavors to cover it up, 
Um, mostly an overall hop bitterness coming through in combination with those other two. So none of the three elements there coming forward. Um, just really well blended. And in terms of the malt characteristic, I am getting a distinct bourbon flavor um, imparted by those barrels, I'm sure. A little bit of woodiness, a little bit of toastiness. Nothing really overpowering and coming forward. Um, it's very well blended, very well put together, and the, the flavors all combined together are, are just awesome. And it's not at all what you would expect from a 12%. <laughs> It's in the double digits, alcohol by volume beer, especially not an imperial because it's not slapping you in the face with that high alcohol by volume and, and sour taste that you tend to get from imperials. They've done a really nice job of blending that with the other flavors in the beer to really kind of cover it up and, um, and downplay it. Overall, I'm, I'm hitting this with a three and a half out of five, which is still a, not skill, two and a half is an average. So three and a half is, is a better than average rating, but there's nothing really coming forward from the beer that's blowing me away and, and making me say, wow, and I'm really impressed. It is very well blended. And like I said, they did a good job of covering the negative aspects of what I would have expected from the beer. Um, and so again, it's getting a better than average rating, but nothing that's really putting it in, in top notch or blowing me away. But um, as always, that's just my opinion. You should check this out for yourself. Clown Shoes always makes some great beers, and every single one of them is worth trying at least once. Most of them are worth trying over and over and over again. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm willing to hear any feedback. I'd love to hear a different counterpoint on this. Um, as always, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see a specific beer tasted and, uh, and profiled. I'll let you know what I think, if I can find it around here. If you've got a beer that you've brewed yourself, hit me up in the comments or through the email link down below there. We'll see what we can do about getting some of it in my hands, getting you at least my opinion on it, maybe a couple of others as well. Until next time, folks. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Well, oh, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by you. Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American.